Perhaps Dartmouth skiers had an early edge in those first alpine events, as it was Dartmouth skiers that introduced them. But over the last century, generations of Dartmouth skiers have continued to be among the very best in the country, winning national championships and competing in every Winter Olympics for the United States and other countries. Most recently, two Dartmouth students earned Olympic medals in Vancouver in 2010. This guy is really trying to blast this course. I tell you, Tim, he is fearless and he has taken an aggressive line everywhere he can. My plan was to continue with the U.S. ski team and go to school at Dartmouth at the same time. I really credit Dartmouth for, for being the reason that I've, I've been able to, to stay on the U.S. ski team. You know, starting at the end of my ski season, I come to Dartmouth for the, the spring term, and then beginning of June, I usually start training again. I'm pretty much skiing and training for skiing right up until the day that, that spring term starts. Hannah Carney the 2010 Olympic gold medalist in moguls, and the 2011 and 2012 World Cup mogul and overall freestyle champion grew up in Norwich, Vermont, directly across the Connecticut River from Dartmouth College, where she eventually became a student. Carney is the latest example of how Dartmouth provides opportunities to local kids to become skiing champions, as well as how Dartmouth skiing heritage continues to attract the top competitors on the slopes. You can see how steady her upper body is, just makes it look so easy. The Dartmouth Ski Way was the reason I began freestyle skiing. The Ford Sayer skiing program that's offered after school skiing on Wednesday afternoons. It took just a few weeks of training there and I was hooked and I've been doing the sport ever since. The head technical coach of the United States ski team when I qualified for the freestyle team was Liz McIntyre, who happens to be a Dartmouth graduate. I remember marching in a parade for her in 1994 when she came back with her medal from the Olympics. That transition from, you know, fan of Liz McIntyre to one of her athletes, uh, there's a strong Dartmouth connection. <laughs> <laughs>